Hey there everybody, welcome to Auto Bears, and as a bit of a treat here on the launch of the new Hyundai Ioniq 6, we've been shown this, the all new Hyundai Kona. So please enjoy this little cinematic video with a bit of a voiceover telling you all about the new electric Kona. This new second generation Kona picks up where the first one left off by providing buyers with a nice comfortable SUV that can be powered by ICE, hybrid or full electric. However, this time round, Hyundai have gone the way of actually designing the new Kona as an EV first and an ICE car second. The first thing that hits you about the new Kona is the new styling direction Hyundai are going. We got this very distinctive light bar at the front and rear of the new Kona. And on this electric version, it actually features pixelated lights to let you know it's EV, and it's actually a full light bar on the ICE and hybrid versions. Also, we get a few pixelated styling features on the front and rear of the car, again to let you know it is an EV, just like its brother and sister, the Ionic 5 and 6. And this striking new daytime running light is actually not something new from Hyundai. We have already seen it with the likes of the Staria and the recently unveiled new Sonata. Now granted those cars are not for the UK market, but they do show Hyundai's new design direction. The interior of the new Kona feels much more upmarket and a better place to be. It actually feels like a premium product in here. And what I love as well is that Hyundai have not done away with physical buttons, which will definitely please a lot of new buyers. It definitely means it kind of goes away from the likes of the Volkswagen ID3, which still relies on a massive touchscreen to operate a lot of the systems. As with all new generation cars, the new Kona is bigger than before. It is longer, wider and taller, and actually the wheelbase has been extended by 60 millimeters, and that will definitely help rear passenger space, as well as the front seats actually being reduced in thickness by 30%. The boot is also larger as well, and goes up to 466 liters. So that is actually a big step up from its predecessor, which should make the new Kona a much more practical family SUV. With the new Kona, you get a choice of two batteries. You get a 48.4 or a 65.4 kilowatt hour battery. And with the smaller battery, you get 154 brake horsepower at a range of around 212 miles. With the larger 65.4 kilowatt hour battery, you get around 214 brake horsepower and a range of just over 300 miles, 304 to be precise. Now, when it comes to charging, there's no real step up from its predecessor, so do look to go from around 10 to 80% in around 40 minutes or so, which isn't too bad, just means you have to have yourself a couple of cups of tea and a wee when you are stopping to charge your Kona. However, one of the new features I do like is that the actual charging flap is heated, so it shouldn't remain frozen on a cold winter's day, so you could struggle to charge your Kona electric. So that is something that Hyundai have definitely been listening to their customers. Let me know what you think of the new electric Kona in the comments section below. But in the meantime, have yourselves a great day and I'll catch you all in the next video. Thanks for watching.